My name is Randall Barrett. I'm from Southern Oregon, and I represent NoSmartMeter.org. And I intend to um, present information today to show why the opt-out fees are illegal discrimination. They're targeted financial discrimination. The Oregon law, Oregon statutes 756040, says that this uh, entity, this um, um, agency, the PUC, says that the commission shall make use of the jurisdictional and powers of the office to protect such customers and the public generally from unjust and unreasonable extractions and practices and to obtain for them adequate service at fair and reasonable prices. So you're obligated by law, you look at financial matters, you know how to examine numbers. And so the question is, in all this effort, you've restricted public hearings, you're not allowed public input to disagree with Pacific Power, why did you never ask, how much does it cost to read a smart meter? You're charging people for reading their readers to come out manual, and you say, well, you can't pass these on to the people who aren't having their meters read. But what about the cost of the infrastructure, and what about the cost of the meters and the installation fees, and the new people they have to hire that they're hiding to cost, to cost to make those meters be read with an RF signal? It costs more than the old system. Why was that question never asked? Hiding the expenses of the smart grid and the expenses of the smart meters and only targeting people who refuse to take part in the, in the smart grid is illegal discrimination. The um, not charging people to install a smart meter, but then if they don't want the smart meter and they want something else like an analog or a digital, they're going to charge them $169 to remove that smart meter and put on a digital meter. That is illegal discrimination. They're not charging the people for their expenses who are willing to take part in the smart grid. So charging people to read their meters manually when the RF smart meters actually cost more, New Mexico clar clarified that, is illegal, punitive discrimination that's against the law. This new te test pilot program that they're bringing up is just game playing. It's a joke. Taking your meter reading to three times a year and then charging a 7.5% fee on top is still illegal discrimination. It's still charging us when the smart meters people costs are higher. So it still costs more to read a smart meter and they're hiding these costs. Only by making non-computerized meters available, analog meters, without any computerization them, at no cost to customers, returning these back to customers at no cost, and providing restitution for the fees and expenses that were incurred by these people. Only in that way can we stop this movement that we've started. We are going to continue to push this statewide, and we are going to get this to the highest court in our country, what if necessary. Very sorry no, about that. This is your cell phone. Yes. You okay, that's three minutes. That's my right. time. So okay. uh, thank you, and uh, let's let's talk about getting this exposed, that these fees are, that costs are higher for this market. Mr. Spiegel, go ahead. You can sit down, Mr. Barrett. 